Some folks have asked about uh, how to put spin wing vanes on shafts, so I thought I'd uh, do a quick video and show it'd be easier and share the misery uh, with you. Um, it's not fun. Uh, what I do is I take the shaft, go ahead and put the uh, point on, put the knock on. I use the pin knocks, <clears throat> and then I take my old uh, my old multi fletcher and I put them in the closest one to me so I can get to it easy. And then I take my jig, my feather clamp uh, apart, take the feather part, uh, the feather clamp apart, and then put that way you can fit the one down in here like this on it. And I take a nice sharp pencil. Now some people make permanent marks and they, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, in fact, it's a great idea because your line will always be there because that's one thing about um, spin wing veins is that you know they're fragile. They always break in coming off, the, the, the tape coming off and stuff. So they're, they're high maintenance. They're great. They work great. They're awesome to shoot, but they're high maintenance. So um, as they come off and you're having to redo them, instead of having to redraw the lines each time, if you use a permanent marker, uh, Rod Jenkins was telling me those craft pins that are uh, kind of silver, you can use those and uh, then you can just clean your arrow and that'll stay on and then you still got the lines drawn. There's also some type of sleeve I think you can get at Lancaster now with lines on it, which is pretty cool. But I, I'm old school, I guess, so this is the way I do it. I put the clamp on there, set it where I want it, and I take my pencil. Well, first, I draw a half-inch mark. I, I put mine a half-inch down. You can put them however far down you want. I just take my, uh, my bow square, measure off half-inch, and I just put a line all the way around the shaft. So I've got a circle line around the shaft a half-inch down. Then I put it in the jig, and I take a pencil and start there where my circle line is, where my thing's going to start and just draw a line and pencil. And I rotate it, I draw my next line. And I rotate it, take the clamp down nice, put my next line. And then I wind up with uh, my circle and three pencil lines down the shaft. Okay, I do that on all the shafts and then I get my spin wings out. Like we said, why, why do you use the spin wings? Why do you go try? I'm using uh, two and a quarter inch. Uh, again, talking this over with Rod, uh, I was using one and three quarters. They fly good and they're great for long shots. If you're shooting a lot of field or you're shooting, you know, 70, 80, 90 meters, then the small ones are good. But uh, these are two and a quarter. They seem to clean up a little quicker out of the bow. So for 3D or shorter stuff, then uh, these are these are real nice. You create more drag is all you're doing. So then the spin wings come with this double sided tape. So tear this off and then you got to get, and you can buy different types of this. Some of it's easier to work with than others, but then you got to take your, your nail and get the separation on one side. Once you get that, and what I do is I hold it in this hand like that with the, the little double sided thing pulled back and this sticking up. And I lay my arrow down and find my line, and then I put, I'd use this thumb, and stick it down. And then I just stay right on that line as I go down. Try to keep it as even and straight as you can. All the way down the shaft. And then once you get it down there, just push it down good. So then you got one piece of double-sided tape on the first um, the first line. So take a take another piece, tear it off. Use your nail. Here's where uh, here's where I have trouble because I don't have any nails. Getting it to separate is just a pain. All right, so I got it separating, but of course now it's wanting to separate from the other piece, which is a pain. All right, so I go to my next line. 
You want to get them as even as you can at the start and on your line. several different ways. First off, you got to divide these, make sure you got one. I like doing it from this end. Now this is the second thing. Once you stick it, it sticks. <laughs> so don't mess up. If you get it on crooked or something, you're probably going to screw the whole piece of tape up and you're going to have to redo it. So I take my nail and just get it started and peel that off. Now you got a clear piece of tape. But these things are curved, so you got to flatten them as much as you can get them started. Now get it right on your line, right where your line starts, and you want to use up the tape. If you don't hit the tape and get it all, get vein on all the side, all the way over to the edge of the tape, then every time you put your arrows in your quiver, they're going to stick to each other because they'll be exposed double-sided tape and another arrow will hit it and they'll stick to each other and then when you pull one arrow out they'll stick you'll yank it and you'll stick two arrows together in your quiver and you'll rip your your uh, vein off and then you'll be very upset i assure you okay that one went on nice hopefully this one will go on as easy So now you got to go to this little tape that secures it. There are several of these. This spin wing stuff doesn't work. I don't think works as nicely as uh, the, the stuff that comes with the curly veins. The curly veins comes with some that's already cut, and it seems to adhere a little bit better. But um, this is what what I got with it, so this is what I'll use. Okay, so I'll pick a piece about that long. You want it to wrap around the shaft several times. And then again, you start this. And I get about that much. And you're going to go this way so that it makes the vein stand up. Okay? So, start it about half on the shaft and half on the vein. And then the vein is going to lay down as you come around it, this will move it around. You want to make sure you get enough so that it secures it to the shaft or when you're shooting, they'll pop out from under it. This is what makes them kind of stand up. See it? It holds them right here. It, it pulls it over which kicks them up like that. But you got to have enough on the shaft and on the vein to hold it down. Now you repeat the same thing down at the bottom. The top seems to be the ones that wants to come out the most to me. It's been my experience. The bottom seem to stay on pretty well. Okay, I put it on right over the top of this uh, double-sided tape and then you'll see in a minute what I do with that. Now there I just roll tape the shaft around get a couple of good turns pull it nice and tight yeah that's nice, that's gonna hold good the bottom one seems to always go on easier to me than the top. So now I just take my knife and um, right here you got double-sided tape that's longer than all this is I go right to the bottom of my tape that I used to adhere and I just score it a little bit. There we go. And there we go. That's all you gotta do. And then you just take your thumb, strike that double side tape up, pull it up and it'll pop right off at the top. Do all three of them, pops right off. And then the third one. There you go. That's it. Till you tear it. Then you start all over.